Our text is Philippians chapter 1. I thank my God in all my remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine for you, all making my prayer with joy. Today I want to share with you a portion of President Abraham Lincoln's Thanksgiving Proclamation of 1863. This is especially significant to me, as eight days following this proclamation, the congregation I serve, St. Matthew Lutheran Church and School in Hawthorne Woods, was officially established. Here's a portion of President Lincoln's Thanksgiving Proclamation. The year that is drawing toward its close has been filled with the blessings of fruitful fields and healthful skies. To these bounties, which are so constantly enjoyed that we are prone to forget the source from which they come, others have been added, which are of so extraordinary a nature that they cannot fail to penetrate and soften even the heart which is habitually insensible to the ever watchful providence of Almighty God. No human counsel hath devised, nor hath any mortal hand worked out these great things. They are the gra gracious gifts of the Most High God. It has seemed to me fit and proper that they should be solemnly, reverently, and gratefully acknowledged as with one heart and voice by the whole American people. I do therefore invite my fellow citizens in every part of the United States and also those who are at sea and those who are sojourning in foreign lands to set apart and observe the last Thursday of November next as a day of thanksgiving and prayer to our beneficent Father who dwelleth in the heavens. And I recommend to them that while offering up the ascriptions justly due to him, that for such singular deliverances and blessings, they do also with humble penitence for our national perverseness and disobedience, commend to his tender care all those who have become widows, orphans, mourners, and sufferers in the lamentable civil strife in which we are unavoidably engaged, and fervently implore the interposition of the Almighty Hand to heal the wounds of the nation and to restore it as soon as may be consistent with the divine purposes to the full enjoyment of peace, harmony, tranquility, and union. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for our great nation that sees fit to set aside a time every year in which we may give you thanks. You have blessed us with so much. Chief of all blessings is our Savior, Jesus Christ, who saves us from sin, death, and the power of the devil. Thank you for those who live in the United States have the freedom to worship Christ as we please and the freedom to share the gospel of Jesus with everyone. As we pause this week to give you thanks, we thank you that we will be able to continue to share the gospel with everyone so that others may know of the wonderful good news of Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. I'm Associate Pastor Ed Blonsky from St. Matthew Lutheran Church and School in Hawthorne Woods. Thank you for joining me for these daily devotions. Join me again next time. I pray that God will richly bless you.